Hello, welcome. I got a really cool thing for um, the holiday, and it is this retired Lego Chima um, Cragger set. And I thought, why not record me building it? Um, in the video, I was just kind of like <laughs> singing and talking to myself. So it's like, I'll do a voiceover on it. But, um, yeah, I got this uh, really cool retired Lego set that I've been wanting. It's actually on my wish list, like, like my most coveted Lego sets. Um, anyway, while you watch me put together this really cool Lego set, I thought I would fill you in on some cool alligator lore. <laughs> wow, interesting. Watch a Lego video and learn something about alligators. My first gator fact is alligators are my favorite animal. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. One of my favorite things about alligators is that they cannot regulate their body temperature. So when you see them in the water, um, they need to be cool. If you see them basking in the sunlight on the land, they got a little too cold. And they just all day long pretty much go back and forth between being in the water and being on land to regulate a comfortable body temperature. And I just think that is really cute and I love it. <laughs> Something that is really awesome to me is that alligators are basically dinosaurs. Um, they appeared around 84 million years ago, and the only other reptile that is older than alligators would be turtles and tortoises. So we basically still got some dinosaurs walking around on Earth. How cool is that? Gator babies. Some neat little facts about gator babies. Um, well, first of all, Mama gators are very nurturing, actually some of the most nurturing of reptiles, and they keep their babies for up to two years um, and make sure they are safe and well fed and look after them. And how cute is that? Although sometimes parent parental gators, more happens with the dad than the mom, eat the babies because they get them confused <laughs> with other uh, litters of gators. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's other reasons. I'm, it's not totally innocent, but um, that only happens to about 7% of gators. Um, but a cool thing about babies, gator babies, is their sex is actually not determined by DNA, but the temperature in which the nest is. So if the nest is warm, then the babies are gonna be male, and if the nest is cold, then the babies are gonna be female. And that's some pretty cool, interesting stuff there. If you made it this far into the video, um, you get a certified gator award for sticking around and listening to me yap on about gators. My favorite animal, the best animal, the coolest animal. Anyway, another cool thing about gators is they are the loudest reptile in the world. That's right, you heard it, they're the loudest. A little gator tidbit that I actually found out not too long ago is there are only two kinds of gators and there is the American alligator and the Chinese alligator and currently, the Chinese alligator is actually an endangered species um, for a lot of reasons too, like natural disasters and hunting and I don't know all the reasons, but you know, man-made reasons, which is very sad and um, I hate that because if you look at Chinese alligators, they actually do look a little different from um, American alligators and they're so cute. Oh my God, their little faces, they're so cute. Now, unless you're an alligator enthusiast, such as um, me, I <laughs> doubt you will know this fact, and it is that alligators actually eat um, fruit and vegetables and legumes and seeds as well as meat. Um, for the longest time, scientists thought that those things were appearing in their poop because of the animals they were eating that had eaten them, but it was um, discovered actually in more recent times that they, they will resort to eating um, fruit and veg and stuff like that. Interesting. Vegan alligators. <laughs> gator boy confirmed. Okay, I'm just kidding. There's not a single vegan alligator. Um, though they do eat fruit and vegetable, they cannot survive without meat. They need meat. Teeth, gator teeth. Um, they lose I think it was about like an estimated amount of around 2,000 teeth in their lifetime. Wow, that's a lot of chompers. Now I'm going to tell you about one of the coolest experiences I ever had, and it was visiting a gator 
um, sanctuary in St. Augustine. They had so many different alligators. It was such a beautiful place. I was almost in tears. It was one of the most happiest moments of my life because I love alligators so much. They had albino alligators, which are, you know, they're white and they're really cool. They had full grown ones and they had baby ones. And I might cut myself off real quick. I got a Lego piece stuck and I had to pull it off with a knife because I was too lazy to get up and get a brake separator. And then I dropped it on the floor. I did find it, but it was such a pain. I was like this nonsense right here. Um, anyway, St. Augustine, alligators. Uh, they had a little like dock where you could feed the alligators and you could buy gator food and I um, I bought gator food and I was throwing it to them and they were all swimming up and like jumping up for it like little puppy dogs it was one of my favorite moments in my lifetime thus far it was amazing and I was just so happy I also that same day got to hold an alligator because you could pay $30 to have a picture taken with an alligator. And it, of course it's like a baby alligator, but I was like, I don't care about the picture. I just want to hold the gator and I'll pay $30. I did get a picture, but <laughs> I paid $30 to hold a little baby alligator. And it was well spent. I love it. And when they took the gator away from me, I was like, wait, 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 can I hold its little hand? And I held his little gator hand before they took him away. When they took him away, I was like reaching for him like, no, <laughs> it was so great. Happiest I have been in a long time. So if you happen to live in Florida or be near Florida and want to see some really cool alligators, um, the one I went to was in St. Augustine. I don't remember what it was called, but I'm sure there's probably not another one in St. Augustine, but I am guessing that there are tons of like gator sanctuaries in Florida. So you could probably find one. Um, but yeah, it was a really great experience. I loved it so much. And if you're a big fan of like gators or even just reptiles in general, highly recommend it. High, highly recommend it for like kiddos too. Kids freaking love big animals. Um, but yeah. I am getting close to being done with this uh, Cragger build and the details on this set are just, God, they're cute, man they're cute. There's a little chest plate and it has like the chi um, glowing on the chest plate, love it. Also the mouth, the way it like clicks onto like the bottom jaw, how it clicks onto the top. It kind of opens in this way where it locks and it doesn't just swing up and down. It's just really quality and satisfying. And I guess I did not expect, it's been a while since I have built like a Bionicle style Lego set. And man, I, it made me feel like a kid again. I felt like I was, it was Christmas and I got a Bionicle and I was just loving it. And this set is like actually not crazy expensive. If you want to get one, you can get one on eBay, um, you know, like used. I, you know, I didn't get one in the box or anything, but still it's great. And it was so fun to build and so satisfying and <laughs> not like a million billion pieces to keep up with either. And look, there he is. He's beautiful. Here's my victory dance. I do after I build. This was the, this is the set. Um, that's the book that came with it. And here is the details of him. Look how neat. I love, I just love it. <laughs> Honestly, I want to get more of the little teeth because it has spots where you can put extra teeth in the armor. And yeah, man, it's just great. Love it. Look at him. Look at that little face and tell me he is not an angel. He's beautiful. And to sell you on the set, here's a dab. He can dab. And also he can do the stanky leg. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>